Okay, um, we're working on section 7.5, um, applying the tangent ratio. We're getting into two sections where we're learning about tangents, sines, and cosines. Tangent probably being um, the easiest one to start with. Okay, so let's introduce what these tangent, sine, and cosine things are. Um, to start out, we say a trigonometric ratio is a ratio of the lengths of two sides in a right triangle. We will use trigon trigonometric ratios to find the measure of a side or an acute angle in a right triangle. Okay, the ratio of the lengths of the sides in a right triangle is constant for a given angle measurement. So if we have an angle measurement, the ratio of the lengths of sides is constant. The ratio is called the tangent of the angle. Um, so if we start out, the trigonometric ratio, if we just look, it's the ratio between two sides of um, a given angle. Okay? And um, this next slide will hopefully help um, sort of solidify everything together. Okay, our key concept, tangent. What is a tangent? Um, if we look at triangle ABC, it's a right triangle with acute angle A. The tangent of A, written as tan A, is defined as follows. Um, tan A, the tangent of angle A, is the length of the opposite side, the length of the leg opposite angle A, over the length of the leg adjacent to angle A. So tan of A is the length of the opposite leg over the length of adjacent. So tan is opposite over adjacent. So we would do BC over um, AC. So this right here is the equation you need to remember. Tan is opposite over adjacent. And we're going to work on this one later, but tan is opposite over adjacent. TOA. Okay, remember TOA. All right, now, complementary angles. In a right triangle, angle A and angle B are complementary. So you can use the same diagram to find the tangent of angle A and the tangent of angle B. Notice that the leg adjacent to angle A is the leg opposite B, and the leg opposite angle A is the leg adjacent to angle B. Okay, so if we look, um, this would be the leg adjacent to angle B, and this would be the leg opposite angle B. Sorry, I can't draw down there. The blue um, line down there is the leg opposite angle B. So this is adjacent to B, and that's opposite to B. But if we look at A, this is opposite A and adjacent to A. Adjacent means next to. Let's try our first example. So we're going to find um, the tangent of angle S and the tangent of angle R. Write each angle as a fraction and as a decimal rounded to four places. So to start out, I'm going to find the tangent of S. Tangent is opposite over hypotenuse. So if we look at S, we're going to do opposite over, sorry, it's opposite over adjacent. Scratch that. Tangent of S is opposite over adjacent because remember TOA. Okay, so we have tangent of S is opposite over adjacent. 80 over 18. So write it as a fraction and as a decimal rounded to four places. If I simplify that, I can do 40 over 9, which the decimal would be 4.44, four places, 4.4444. <laughs> now let's do the tangent of R. So if I look at R, I'm doing opposite over adjacent. 18 over 80 simplifies to 9 over 40, which equals 0 0.2250, four places. 
Okay, you try. Find the tan j and tan k round to four decimal places. So they're not asking for the fractions here, just the round to four decimal places. There we go. Tan j and tan k of both problems rounded to four decimal places. Okay, now we're going to um, use what we've learned about tangent to solve for things. Um, here it says find the value of x. So what we're going to do here is actually do tangent of 32 degrees equals opposite over adjacent. Okay, and now we actually have to take the tangent um, of 32, which you need your calculator for. So hold on a second. Okay, um, really quick. If you were in a graphing calculator, you need to hit the mode button. Look for the button that says mode on it. And when you hit that button, this screen will pop up. You need to make sure that that is in degrees, not radians, or all of your answers are going to be wrong, and you're going to be so frustrated and mad at me. But if you're in, um, if you're in a regular calculator, um, just make sure that you are in degrees, not radians, and everyone's calculators are going to be different. Um, just make sure it says DEG. If you're in a regular scientific calculator, make sure it says DEG somewhere. Um, and usually it's a button that goes DRG with an arrow. And if you keep pushing that button, it'll trade between radians, degrees, and gradients. Um, you want degrees. Okay, so if you look right here, I just showed you what my screen looks like when I take the tangent of 32 degrees. So then we would do 0.6249 equals 11 over x. Multiply both sides by 11, or sorry, by x, and I get 0.6249x equals 11. Divide by. x equals, sorry, haven't done that one yet, 17.6 approximately. Um, honestly, when I'm doing the math, I usually keep this in my calculator and I don't round it and retype it back in. Um, so I would have done 11 divide by my answer, if that makes sense. Okay, let's try this one. Um, and again, I'm going to do tangent of 70. Equals opposite over adjacent. I'm going to type in tan 70 in my calculator. I get 2.7475. Multiply both sides by 40. Height equals 109.9 inches. Some random information. Special right triangles. You can find the tangent of an, of an acute angle measuring 30, 45, or 60 by applying what you know about special right triangles. Um, information. You say okay, and we move on to example four. Okay, use a special right triangle to find the tangent of a 60 degree angle. Basically because all 30, 60, 90 triangles are similar, you can simplify your calculations by choosing one as the um, length of the shorter leg, which is what we did right here. We chose one as the length of the shorter leg. Use the 30, 60, 90 triangle theorem to find the length of the longer leg. So we know that longer leg equals shorter leg times the square root of 3. So x equals 1 times the square root of 3. x equals the square root of 3. Okay, now we're going to find the tan of 60 degrees. Okay, so if we just write tangent of 60 degrees is opposite over adjacent 
square root of 3 over 1. Now you know why we picked, oops, sorry, now you know why we picked the shortest leg to be 1. Because the tan is 60, square root of 3. So the tangent of any 60 degree angle, um, any time, is the square root of 3, which, if you type it in your calculator, tan, 60, enter, you'll get 1.7321. Type in the square root of 3 in your calculator, you get the exact same answer. It's just a pretty cool thing. Okay, you try. Find the value of x, round to the nearest tenth. I'm going to do 3 and 4 first, and then we'll come back for number 5. There we go with those two answers. Um, number 5, what if in example 4, Suppose the side length of the shorter length is leg is 5 instead of 1. Show that the tangent of 60 is still equal to the square root of 3. Draw that really quick. So if this is 5, this is 5 square roots of 3. Um, and this is your 60 degree angle. So the tan of 60 is opposite over, hypot or over adjacent. Those cancel out, and the tan of 60 is still the square root of 3. Daily homework quiz, page 1, page 2, page 3, page 4. Good work today, guys.